Just 45 days until 200,000 people in our area could be forced to change their doctors because of the battle between UPMC and Highmark. Today in Harrisburg, the state and UPMC argued about extending that deadline. Channel 11's Aaron Martin was there to break down what they said. The clock is ticking until the June 30th deadline when the consent decree agreement between UPMC and Highmark officially expires. And with that deadline in mind, both sides, along with the Attorney General's office, made arguments today here in Harrisburg in front of the state Supreme Court in a decision that no doubt will impact thousands of patients here in Western Pennsylvania. A key part of patient care in Western Pennsylvania will be determined in this courtroom as state Supreme Court justices decide if a five-year-old agreement can legally be extended. Today, just Justice has heard from UPMC and the Attorney General's office about the consent decree governing the split between the healthcare giant and Highmark. Without an extension, Highmark customers will be out of network at UPMC beginning July 1st and have to pay for procedures, ER, and surgeries up front. Justice has asked each side pointed questions, including this exchange between Justice Max Baer and AG's attorney Bart DeLone. Baer asked, quote, the intent was a five-year wind down. Does mutual intent of this initial agreement matter? DeLone responded, quote, in the agreement, it says the goal is to protect patients and maintain their charitable mission. UPMC attorney Leon DeJulius argued the expiration of the consent decree is a key part of the agreement made with the attorney general and Highmark five years ago, adding, quote, this wouldn't be a modification of the consent decree. It would be a complete nullification of the agreement. It's unclear when the Supreme Court will decide, but both sides left the hearing satisfied with their arguments. I think the justices did a very good job of, of zeroing in on that fundamental question is when does a contract actually end? The Office of Attorney General has brought this case uh, on behalf of the consumers and patients using health care in western Pennsylvania and throughout Pennsylvania. Now, a key to this case could be a provision inside that consent decree agreement that would allow either side to petition the court if they feel it's in the public's interest. It was actually a point that Justices Todd and Wecht really latched onto today, and depending on how the other justices look at it, could be key in determining how the Supreme Court rules. Reporting in Harrisburg, Aaron Martin, Channel 11 News. All right.